At Monk Park Farm in Thirsk, babies always draw the crowds. But newborn goat Daisy has a serious problem. Oh. Hello. How are you? Are you all right? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm pleased to see you. And I understand we've got a problem with this little kid. Yeah. I problem? Yeah. OK, let's have a look. I'll put my things down, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look, see what we can see on these eyes. There's a grey part there, isn't there? A little part of the eye. They were more clouded over when she was born. Like yeah, when were she was they? first born, they were a lot more clouded over. This one was more are. clouded, like yeah. this like one. They were quite... completely clouded. Right, let's have a look and see. Hmm. And we'll swap that and have a look at the other side now. That's lovely. Not very good eyesight. She can see a little bit out of that left eye. The right eye, she can't see anything out of. It's what's called a congenital abnormality. She's been born with it. The right eye has a cataract, but the left eye has a, a, a retina problem. The retina hasn't developed as it should have done. Do you think that could get worse or could get better? I honestly don't know. Do you think every time can tell? Yes. I don't know whether it's likely to progress. Is there something to treat it? What we'll do, when I'm here, say in a month or so's time, we'll have a look and see if there's any yeah. change then, and then we'll know whether it's progressive or not. So I think the thing to do is just wait and see. Keep doing what we're doing. But, but yeah, wait. but in a big field, she will get lost. So we just put her in a small field, but still ideal. let her out? Yeah, that would be ideal. Oh. You can see there, she's, she's struggling, isn't she, to make sense of anything with those eyes. Come on, mother, shape yourself, look after your baby. <laughs> but she's not in any pain at all. She's... She is really happy. She does run around. Does she? Yeah. Her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really worried about her, because, I mean, I don't know whether she'll get worse or we don't know whether she'll go totally blind. And with goats expected to live up to 18 years, Daisy should still have a long life ahead of her. Let's see how things are in a month's time, shall we? See you, yeah, see you in a month. All right, then. Thanks a lot. Thank you. See you later. We're uh, not in a very good position, really, as far as eyes and sight goes. So I think we've just got to hope that things don't deteriorate any further. And I just don't know which way that's going to go. Hello, Keith. All right. What have we got? Well, it's something odd by the sound Two back it? feet. Yeah. And then I can feel something above it which I'm not just sure. And they're definitely back feet? Yeah. Well, there's definitely some feet there. Here's one of them, look. And you can tell they're back feet partly because they're upside down and secondly because the, the hock is, is there and that's an easy thing to feel. Here comes Molly. Hello. Hi, Molly. This is Keith. Hi, Hi yeah. nice to meet you, Indeed. Molly. Hi. I pulled Molly out of afternoon surgery to come and get some practice carving, so... Yes, please. I reckon over to you. Oh, That's gosh. our bucket with some antiseptic in. Yeah. See what you make of it. OK. What do you reckon so far? I can't find a head. What do you think of the feet? Back legs. Yeah. Yeah, good. Coming backwards then. Generally speaking, it's harder to deliver a backwards calf than a forwards calf because yeah. they're not so sort of aerodynamic. Yeah. Um, so uh, anything that's even slightly big, you think, mm, you know. Is that okay. Good? Wish I knew what I was doing a bit more, but you know <laughs> that'll come with time, hopefully. First carving as a vet. Yeah. First carving as a vet. <laughs> yeah. Which is a big <laughs> moment for anybody. For it's me. nice to have you here. <laughs> I, well, I can just stand back and give you the ropes. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, but it, it's, it doesn't get any more perfect than this because you can you can learn literally learn the ropes. Um, and if you're worried, <laughs> then I can help. We need to put ropes on because she's not pushing, the mum's hardly doing any pushing at all. So this big metal contraption, this is the carving jack. There have been many, many calves saved by this. And the trick, if you can, if she's pushing, then it's nice to wait until she pushes and take the strain. The size of the calf could be a problem. We need to decide quite soon as if it's going to actually fit through the pelvis. Because um, if it isn't, then we'll have to come up with plan B, which will be a caesarean. On the edge of the North York Moors National Park, Wellburn Hall Special Needs School has its very own working farm. 
and for teaching assistant Jenna and her students, it's another busy day looking after the animals. Having a farm at a school is very unique and it's also very valuable for our students. Out on the farm they learn skills that they wouldn't learn in any other aspect of their general day-to-day -day lives, which they can use for the rest of their lives in different contexts. A lot of our students said that they just generally feel a lot calmer, they enjoy to be out with the animals and tending to their day-to-day -day needs. And we see students that can't naturally empathise with, with their peers come out and empathise with the animals. And they have two new residents, Daisy, the baby goat, and her mum, Rosie, rehomed from a visitor's farm after Peter revealed Daisy's eyesight wouldn't improve. Farm manager Darren knows that all life needs nurturing. We just felt that every animal deserves a chance, irrespective of any disabilities or you know, visual impairment. We, we, we've sorted it, she's perfectly fine. So yeah, she deserved an happy life and that's what she's gonna get. Today, Peter's paying a special visit to the school. Morning. 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 How are you? Okay. Very well. Darren, indeed. It is. Darren. And you must be Isaac. Yeah, very, I'm very good. Carl? Yeah. Dan? Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Now, I was going past this morning and I just thought I'd pop in and see you because um, I, I understand you've homed a couple of uh, goats yeah. that I've yeah. been looking after and I've heard they've got a fantastic home. Yeah. yeah. So I've just called in this morning to see what the setup is really. Well, there she is. Do you think her eyesight's a major problem here? Or is she managing okay, do you think? I think she's managing okay. Yeah, I think she is, and that's nice. I think she is, isn't she? Yeah, it's nice to see her playing and happy. It's lovely. Yeah. She looks as if she's settled in all right. Yeah. All I'll tell right. you what, it is a fantastic home for them here. Yeah. I'm really impressed. And you have to muck out in here occasionally as well. Yeah. As supervisor, you'll organise things, won't you? Don't you'll be frightened to tell me to go and get some of that muck cleaned out. All right. Are we changing this straw over? Yeah. Right. That's it. Lovely. <laughs> are we working hard enough, boss? Yeah, you are. Good lad. That's one farm, is it? Excellent. Save that for tomorrow. Well, no, right. That side. Are you? Shall we? Do you want to take that seat? No, right. Have we got everything? How long have you been be, being a vet? How long have I been a vet? A long, long time. <laughs> Shall I tell you? Yeah. yeah. Between ourselves? Yeah. 38 years. That's you haven't seen that long. <laughs> well, it soon goes, I'll yeah. tell you. I'll t it soon goes. But, uh, yes, I've had, a, I've had a lovely life, really, being a vet. Yeah. And uh, I enjoy looking after the animals. I really do. And it's lovely to come here and see Daisy and Rosie today because I think you're doing a fantastic job yeah. with them. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it was a very sad day at Monk Park when I looked at Daisy's eyes and could see that she was very, very poorly sighted. And to come here today to see the new home is absolutely fantastic. As a veterinary surgeon, this gives me an enormous amount of pleasure and satisfaction knowing that Daisy is secure here now for the rest of her life and also the children are getting an enormous amount of benefit from looking after her as well. Daisy is going to have a happy life like with her mum, Rosie, and we're going to look after them for the rest of their lives.